a writing retreat always sounded like it'd be like a cool thing you know you can meet with some like-minded people talk about what you're writing read each other's stuff give you know constructive criticism and all that good stuff so the book we're going to talk about today is called the writing retreat and it is by julia bartz this is what happens when a writing retreat goes sideways upside down round and round and absolutely uh, becomes unhinged the first chapter or so wasn't really sure if i was vibing with this book or really feeling it no uh, once i got past that and the wheels started turning and the gears were grinding. I was super hooked. This is another book of the month book. I honestly haven't read a book of the month book yet that I haven't liked. They've all been really good. I'm sure there's one out there. I, I don't know. Hashtag not an ad. Anyway, so the story follows these women who end up going to this writing retreat with this esteemed famous author, Rosa Vallow. She's wrote all these amazing books. She's super rich and has this gorgeous, creepy old estate out in the middle of nowhere. The nearest neighbor is like 15 miles away where all these nuns live. I think it was a nunnery at least. And in the winter they get really bad snow out there. As you see the cover of the book, there's a bunch of snow on it. And so it follows the story of this girl Alex, uh, this other girl Ren, and then these other women who ended up at the retreat, uh, Kira, Poppy, and Taylor. And the main focus is Alex, she's the main character. And so her and Ren had, had like this big falling out. It ended their friendship and you don't really find out exactly what happened till quite a ways into the book. It ended on a super bad note, bad stuff happened. And every time like Alex sees Ren, she basically wants to like throw up and can't even handle it. And is like super nervous about seeing her. But this opportunity presents itself to go and have this writing retreat with this author that she's loved, that is her absolute favorite, that she's almost you know been obsessed with ever since she read her first book of hers this is a chance of a lifetime for any kind of aspiring writer to go and to have this writing retreat with Rosa Vallow even though she finds out that Ren the girl that she had this big falling out with is going to be there too and you know that makes her super nervous but she really can't pass this up one of the things too was like when they first became friends they both worked at like a publisher and whatnot and they had both written and neither of them has published a book yet so this is a super great opportunity but they had originally bonded over this author and so it adds just another layer to this so they get to the house and as you would imagine it's definitely awkward between those two everyone settles in and they think it's gonna kind of be this like leisurely cool let's hang out and write and drink wine and have good food kind of retreat but then they learn about how it's actually gonna go. They have to have so many words a day. They're gonna crank out these novels and by the end, they're gonna have a full book when they're done. And to make things spicy and interesting, the person who writes the best one is gonna win a seven figure book deal and have all these accolades and Rosa is gonna support the book. And so now it's a competition, which is not quite what they were expecting. And stuff gets really weird. And it's like, there's this weird history of the house that it, that it might be haunted. And there's this whole like backstory of who used to live in the house. This, uh, this couple, Horace and Daphne and Daphne, was into seances and the spiritualist society and all that. And there's this weird, dark energy that might kind of be going on in the house. And then stuff just starts getting weird and weird stuff starts happening that is shady and people start to become suspicious of Rosa and of the other people and what's happening. And then one of the girls ends up disappearing when this crazy blizzard hits. Everything I've just said is mainly in the synopsis of the book. Someone disappears and then everyone's like, okay, what actually happened? What is going on here? Everything seems a little like messed up and intense. And so that kicks off like the what's going on. And then it just gets weirder and creepier and more effed up. And it was a super great read it was fast paced i was super addicted like like i said once the wheels started turning i couldn't stop turning pages it kept me guessing it was disturbing and it was a really great thriller i liked how the writing was i loved the pacing the characters were fun mischievous and deceitful some were really unlikable some were very likable so you know they have to figure out what happened, what happened to the person that disappeared. And they're, mind you, in this isolated house that's 15 miles from the nearest neighbor and there's a crazy snowstorm that happened keeping them all there. 
in this place. Nobody gets out. Nobody gets in. <laughs> what will happen? I don't know. You're gonna have to read it to find out. If you like thrillers, The Writing Retreat by Julia Bartz might just be for you. The next video coming up will be another thriller. So stick around, check it out. And if you had fun hanging out today, hit that subscribe button. Come back, see me again, and we'll talk about more bookish things and weird stuff.